Hello Scorpio, welcome to your August reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Don't forget to check out my new Vimeo channel. The link for that is below in the descriptions box. And there you'll find the extended version of this reading. Now let's get along with your oracle cards here, Scorpio. From the House of Night, what came out for you was the card of letting go. Now what I get from this, it's all about freedom of choice. Both for yourself and for people around you. The freedom to choose your own path and their own path. And not holding on too tightly. And from the Angel's Guidance deck, you've pulled the card of Heart Chakra. So it's all related to matters of the heart. It can also suggest following your heart as well. Now from, as your overall energy here from the Ganesha deck, you've pulled the card of Surrender. Now this card is all about rest and recovery. I feel that the energy around here is all about the need to perhaps take a break or retreat to replenish your energy after a period of stress. So let's see how this goes for you. Scorpio, right in the center as your overall reading, you're coming up as strength reversed. So you have gone through a struggle. I feel that your energy here is, is low. I feel that for you right away. And there may be a, a need for you to let go of some of the stress that is around you so that you can get back on your feet here. Let's pull some more cards on this. What is this stress? Oh, what stress? Strength in reverse. I'm picking it up as stress. Is the overall energy I'm getting for you. And with the lovers, it could be about a, a love decision here. It's certainly a big decision because it, we have the, a major arcana here. So I feel for you, there's stress around making a decision here could be about love but it doesn't have to be <clears throat> it seems that something has laid you low here it may have even affected your feelings about yourself self-worth self-confidence could be about a Gemini as well let's get another card And we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel for you, it is about letting something go here <clears throat> that may provide you with a, a sense of stability here. It could be a relationship, it could also be a job. It seems to provide money, good money, stable money. But I feel for you, there's a decision around this that you need to make here. Now, <clears throat> let's have a look in your past energy here and, and see what this is about. In the past, you have the, the Nine of Cups. So there was contentment for you in the past. I feel that you were happy where you were. There, there is a, a level of success here, an accomplishment in the past. Now, let's get another card. We have the Hanged Man in reverse. But you may have gotten stuck is the energy I get so there may have been something that you achieved a level of success about may have been a relationship could also be a career but once you've achieved a level of success here I feel that there was no progression there was no growth here I, I'm getting an energy of being stuck Let's get another card on that hanged man in reverse. And with death in reverse, it's a fear of change. Is what I'm picking up for you here in the past. It may have kept you somewhere, whether it's a relationship or a, a job, but I, I feel that there's something holding you back here in the past. And I'm picking it up as a, a resistance to to growth, to making change. I feel it's because there was something around you, Scorpio, that provided a level, a level of contentment. You were happy with the money, 
but I, I feel for you that you may have just stayed there and and not taken any other opportunities there's an energy here of stagnant being stagnant for you there in the past Scorpio let's get another card on that death in reverse oh we have judgment in reverse oh sorry judgment with death in reverse okay with this one uh, I do feel that there is a need to take a look at your life here and because it's past energy it may have been happening recently is, is what I'm picking up for you I'm picking up re-evaluation of past choices decisions that were made and there's an energy that I'm feeling here that you are taking a look here and seeing what you want to keep in your life and what you want to let go of because I, I feel that for you there is a need to make some change here because I get the energy of a very stagnant complacent energy although there is a level of contentment around you but isn't enough for you I feel Scorpio now let's have a look in the present energy and see what we have for you the page of Pentacles so there is a new opportunity I feel in the present energy it may just be coming in if not then in the very near future but I feel that there is growth around this there is opportunity that looks like it could be rewarding and I'm picking it up as something in the initial stages here just getting started laying the groundwork but because it's a pentacle I feel that it's a practical a practical offer so it may be in relation to work let's get another card if not then it, it's the opportunity for a practical relationship and with the eight of pentacles there is work i feel it's work related it, it seems to suggest to me that there is it, it's going to require a lot of hard work and dedication to get this off the ground it may be a business opportunity or a new venture let's get another card on that eight of pentacles okay and the ace of cups so it, it is a new opportunity i feel it may be lead you to have a more uh, creative approach to something here to use your creativity is what i'm picking up with this particular offer i'm picking it up as an offer but of course because it's an ace the opportunity is there for something new it seems to be good but it, it, the energy I get is that it will ask of you to be dedicated you'll have to put in a lot of work to achieve this ace so the opportunity is there but will you put in the hard work here Scorpio to to make this make this opportunity here be be rewarding in the future is what I'm picking up <clears throat> now let's get another card on that ace of cups oh the ace of wands so we have two aces here for you Scorpio so it looks like something is coming in here that is very exciting I'm picking it up as allowing you to be more creative with your work because I feel that this the workplace that you're currently in although the money is good and and it provides you with a certain level of contentment i get the energy that you've you've been stuck there possibly for a long while there's something coming in here that looks like it's going to provide you with a opportunity here to use your creativity and it, it seems like it's something that you may have a passion for here there's excitement around this new opportunity but again 
it's going to provide it's, it's going to require you to put in some hard work a lot of effort so Scorpio let's see uh, let's see what's in your future here and we have the uh, nine of swords so there is a lot of stress I'm picking this up as, as something is concerning you I feel that the energy I pick up right in the center for you Scorpio is that I'm picking it up as a, a self-confidence you you may not feel like this new opportunity is something that you can handle and that's why you're stressed here and I feel that you know that it's going to require a lot of hard work here as well so that may also be providing you uh, some sleepless nights here I'm picking it up as, uh, as mental stress and some anxiety as well. Let's get another card on that Nine of Swords. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel that what's stressing you out here in the future, and I feel it's the near future after receiving this offer, Scorpio, is that you, you're weighing up two options here. It may, be, it may be in relation to job. It could also be two people here. But it's something that is coming through here. There's a passionate new opportunity. So it could be love. It could also be, because this is a general reading, it could also be in relation to a, a new job or career. But I feel that it's stressing you out, trying to, to weigh up your options here. Let's get another card on that. Two of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Swords, there's a need to get some clarity here in the future so that you can make a decision. Let's get another card on that Ace of Swords. And with the Seven of Swords in reverse, the energy I'm picking up here is that you may have done something in the past, Scorpio, either you or someone around you because the energies can be vice versa that they're not proud of but i feel either you or the other person here wants to come clean i get an energy here of doing the right thing turning over a new leaf maybe after i'm picking it up as possible deceit either you or another person here has uh, has uh, i'm picking up as deceit or betrayal uh keeping secrets uh, lying so again it can be in relation to love as well but it, it seems like there is what i'm picking up for you scorpio is that there's clarity around this there's that light bulb moment that that epiphany here about past actions and I feel for you, or the other person, Scorpio, it's about coming clean. Also maybe making an apology as well. Now Scorpio, let's look at your advice or your best path to follow. You have the Five of Wands as your best path to follow. So there's a need to defend what is yours here, I feel fight for what you what you want stand up for yourself uh, don't let anyone sway you i feel let's get another card on that five of wands and we have the king of pentacles now i feel that this is in relation to you getting what you need in life in terms of material wealth that financial stability getting a good practical grounded foundation for yourself there may be competition if this is a job offer here or a, a, a new love opportunity there may be competition around you for this person or for this job but I feel for you Scorpio you, you need to fight for this. If this is what you want, 
if you want this this practical being happy here I get the sense of, of being being the provider for not only yourself but but also others if you have a, a, a family here but but and it can be male or female so uh, pay no attention to the gender here you, you could uh, you could be the queen of Pentacles here but I, I feel for you because you're showing up as an earth sign here you may have earth in your chart or you just may need to tap into that more grounded practical side of you Scorpio now let's get another card And we have the Knight of Wands, so it's in relation to something you need to go for here. It may involve travel or relocation with this Knight of Wands, but I feel as the advice, what I'm picking up for you, Scorpio, is that if there is something that you want, you need to stand up for yourself, make the effort, and go for it. And, and take action with, with energy. Show your energy, show your enthusiasm, show your excitement here. And, uh, and if, you, if you want that, uh, if you want to be that grounded, practical, balanced King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles here, that's what I'm picking up for you, Scorpio. It's, it's very much rising to the challenge is how I feel with these cards so if you need to take action on something here whether it's a person or whether it's a job the advice cards are saying go for it but go for it with gusto with enthusiasm with excitement I feel that there's a new adventure here around you now Scorpio let's have a look in your environment here now we have the moon card now I feel that this is what is affecting the, the current energy over here. So this may be what's coming into you. Because I feel that there is something brand new coming into you, Scorpio. Whether that is love or whether it is a new opportunity. Now with the moon card, there seems to be some, some things here that you're not sure about. I, I get the energy here that you don't know all you need to know yet. Things are not clear. There's confusion. Let's get another card on that moon card. And we have the Hierophant in reverse. Which signals to me that you may not need, you, you may not know all you need to know about making a, a commitment here. Some kind of institution. So if this is a relationship, it's a, a commitment. And if it, is a, a, if it is a job that we're talking about here, it, it's a, a, some kind of corporate atmosphere. But there's confusion around this because it is in the reverse and we, and we also have the moon. So the energy that I'm picking up with, this car, with these cards together is that whatever's coming into you now is not entirely clear to you and that you may feel you may feel a bit rebellious as well now let's get another card and we have the the two of wands so I feel that what, what isn't clear here has to do with your future. It may involve travel because we do have this uh, Two of Wands here. It's all about making a decision. And the energy I feel for you around this is that in, it involves... I feel it involves leaving something traditional. It may be a relationship, it may be also be a, a job, but I feel that the offer that is coming in here involves leaving something traditional. But there is a lot of confusion around this. Things are just in a fog for you. Let's get another card on that two of wands. And we have the magician. 
So it involves using your skills, your abilities, your talents here to make something happen. But the question is, will you? Because I feel that whatever's coming in here will give you that opportunity. But what I'm picking up for you, Scorpio, is that you may feel like you are lacking, lacking in confidence or I, I get a, a sense here of inadequacy. You may feel a sense of inadequacy around this and, and that is what I feel is, is causing you to be concerned, so concerned about leaving something behind here and trying out this new opportunity but because we have the magician card I feel that whoever is around you and, and is making this offer does believe that in your abilities to make this work now <clears throat> whether this is a partner or a or a um, or someone in business that is offering you an opportunity here Scorpio now let's have a look in your hopes and fears and we have the Queen of Cups, so there is, this could be a uh, you, of course, as a water sign, as a Scorpio, and it can be male or female again, so pay no attention to the gender. But for you, there's a lot of strong emotion around this. Uh, there's also, you're using your intuition around this offer that's coming in. Let's get another card on that Knight of Cups. And with the Five of Swords, I feel that you you may be fearing having to walk away and leave something behind here with this Five of Swords. That's the energy I'm picking up there. Let's get another card on that Five of Swords. Yeah, we have the Tower card. So I, as a fear here, I feel it, this signifies you. This signifies the offer that's coming in. But as your energy here as a fear, you're fearing the ending of this job that, that gives you security and, and a certain level of contentment at the, at the present time. But for you, I feel that... Yeah, that, that's really what I'm, I'm picking up. It's mainly a fear of walking away. You also may fear losing out as well. That's also a possibility. So you may, may fear that you will rejection, that, that, that you will lose out on the opportunity. Now let's have a look in your outcome here, Scorpio. We have the Empress in reverse. Now this signifies to me, I'm picking up insecurity and a lack of confidence. It could be from past rejection, past hurt, whether this is a, a, a relationship or a career that I'm talking about here, because it really can go either way. But I feel, Scorpio, there is a certain, again, I pick it up as a lack of self-confidence. Let's get another card on this Empress. And we have the High Priestess. So Scorpio, with an outcome here, I feel that, that there's a, a very much a need to listen to your gut. Pay attention to your instincts use that intuition it's very much not pay i feel for you the important thing is not to pay too much attention to what others are saying or what others want you to do but listen to your own heart listen to your own gut feeling here is the most important thing for you and it's in relation to giving up something 
I feel that this is what you need to listen to your, your instincts about about surrender letting go so Scorpio I'm going to leave the general here and I'm going to continue in the extended version so if this is resonating with you please click on the link below in the descriptions box so that will take you directly to my Vimeo channel I'll be pulling out a lot more cards here finding out what's going to happen here with this offer that's coming through for Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Gypsy Insights. I'm an intuitive reader. I receive the energies from the cards as I read them. I'm here to provide guidance through tarot and I hope that you enjoy the readings. My general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa. These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I look forward to reading for you personally. Please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.